lots of people have asked me if I would make a video trying out Michael Harding's different white paints. So here goes. I'm hoping the differences are going to pick up okay on the camera. I've got titanium white with safflower oil, zinc white, foundation white, Kremnitz white and warm white, the lead white alternative. To each one I'm going to mix some yellow, red and blue to see if we can pick up the differences in the behaviours of the whites. So the first one, the titanium white with safflower oil. This is a really heavy, cold white, really high tint power, uh, very flat. And you can see I'm using a fair bit of yellow there and it's not making a massive difference. It's, it's a flat, cool, very opaque yellow that we're getting. I'm adding genuine Naples yellow dark. I'm thinking it might be useful because a lot of the times when we care about the whites we use, when it really matters, is when we're mixing flesh tones. So I'm thinking this is a sort of flesh type colour we're going to get. Adding a similar quantity to the zinc white, there's a much greater depth of colour straight away. It's apparent that the zinc white has a luminosity. It's definitely much less powerful and cools the colour down less. So the titanium mix is flatter, more opaque. The foundation white contains some lead white and some titanium. So this will be interesting to see how different it is from the titanium itself. It feels very similar, but perhaps slightly warmer. The titanium has a blue note to it because it's so cold. And this just feels, I don't know whether it's coming out on the camera, but it feels a little bit warmer, only a little. It's quite a subtle difference, even with a bit more yellow. There's not a massive difference between those two. The Kremnitz white with the yellow, much lower tint strength, much more gentle. So this would often be the favoured one for flesh tones because it keeps a warmth to it. And I think it's clear there that even compared with the zinc white, which has more transparency, this definitely has more glow. It's much warmer. The yellow has retained its richness a lot better in the lead white, the Kremnitz white. And then the same with the warm white, the, the Harding's warm white. This is a mixture for places where you can't buy lead white anymore. Michael's created this with zinc and titanium white, the first two together, uh, mixed with a little bit of yellow ochre to warm it up. It's definitely more powerful than lead white in terms of the flattening effect. I guess that's the titanium, but it's not as blunt as the titanium. That really is a heavy white, the titanium and it, it is retaining more of the warmth. I'm trying to get it to a similar tonal value to the titanium so we can compare and it does have more warmth to it but not as warm as the lead white itself. Trying the same idea but with some red, I'm going to use a cad red light again with a view to a sort of flesh tone idea um, to get a pink. Now I'm going to use a tiny bit because it's such a strong colour and I want to get pale pinks here. So this is a titanium white again and we're getting cool sort of baby pink here. There we go. I'm going to take that a bit lighter actually. I think we can see the comparison better if I keep the values up. The cadmium red is so powerful. So it's cadmium red light I'm using and that's quite a lovely baby pink. Next we'll try it with the zinc white. I'm going to have to go gingerly here with the red because the zinc has less tint strength tiny smidge of red goes a long way in the zinc white. You can really see the transparency. Um, so if you wanted to achieve that kind of light, flat pink, you're going to need a huge amount of zinc white to get there. But actually what's nice about it is the luminosity. Even if I add more, it never gets as flat as the titanium. And it's warmer. The titanium has that blue note in it again. The foundation white with a tiny bit. It is similar to the titanium, but actually this time I can see a much warmer note to it. With the red, it's more apparent that that it's got the Kremnitz, the lead white in there, because we've got a more peachy tone to it. The lead white with the red should be exciting. I won't put too much red because the lead white isn't terribly Gosh, that's much more peachy. Definitely. I don't know how that's coming over, but I can definitely see a much more orangey note 
to this. It's keeping a lot more of the warmth. Too much red there, Vicky. Okay, there's a bit less. Uh, but yeah, big difference between the titanium based colours. Definitely much more peachy. And with the warm white, let's see what happens. Let's see if that yellow in the white is going to help us here to keep some more warmth in the yellow. I use this warm white a lot when I'm out landscape painting. I use it for areas of sunlit areas of a scene and I would keep the titanium for the cooler shadow areas. That is definitely warmer and the tint strength is not so high so it's not knocking the heat out of the colour as much as just the straight titanium would. You can see I'm adding it in, it's not flattening the colour so much. So there's quite a big difference there, quite a range of pinks. Now let's try them with blue. So the titanium with that blue note should give us a really fresh, cool blue. Again, let's keep these fairly light in value so we can compare the difference. More white. Okay, so that is a really fresh, clean blue. Powder blue. Zinc white. Tiny bit of blue here. I'm definitely needing much more white and much less of the pigments with the zinc white. The temperature here is very similar, it's just that it's got that slightly more luminous, transparent quality to it. It's more gentle, much more gentle. Okay, version white again, tiny bit of blue, heavier, it's taking more blue than the zinc white. It's not quite as crisp in temperature. It's moving slightly more towards a lilac-y kind of blue than the titanium. These are very subtle differences, but they are there. Definitely slightly warmer. The Kremnitz white with the blue. Warmer again much more lilac in here. You'd almost think that was a pinkish white really. I guess it is if you think of it that way. And with the warm white, so this goes. Not too much blue. Less saturated. Slightly greyer, possibly even verging slightly greener as opposed to the lead white which is the Kremnitz is going more lilac-y that's moving more towards a greenish note. If I put it on the knife and try and compare it up there, I don't know whether you see a difference there, but it's definitely greyer. So I think the titanium is working well for the cooler colours to keep them really clean and crisp. The, the lead white is definitely considerably warmer. The Kremnitz in all the mixes has a much greater warmth to it and the others have different variables in between. Well, I hope that's useful.